My art is grounded in the belief of one universal energy which runs through everything, from insect to man, from man to specter, from specter to plant, from plant to galaxy. My works are the irrigation veins of this universal fluid. Through them ascend the ancestral sap, the original beliefs, the primordial accumulations, the unconscious thoughts that animate the world. Anna Mendieta. An essay by Shana Nistembro from the book Cracks in the Light. Susan Woodruff makes ethereal, viscous, shimmering paintings that look nothing like the sexualized narrative, extremely figurative and frequently self-portrait-based work of the late Anna Mendieta. They look even less like the work of Artemisia Gentileschi, Joan Mitchell, Georgia O'Keeffe, Nancy Spiro, or Marina Abramovic. Yet in a very real sense, Woodruff is the spiritual and art historical heir to those women and to the many vectors of their careers. These art historical kinships transcend formal influences, giving rise to Woodruff's glorious abstract allegories, her non-figurative feminist pictures which bring to the surface what has been sublimated, even as her surface is where all the action is. But then again, her Burning Woman series, periodically revisited performance project based on a ritual burning and with conceptual roots in related paintings, does look very much like something Mendieta might have done. In the use of earth, air, and fire, the direct references to her own female body, the performative element, the mass, the totemic, pagan magic at the heart of it all, all transformed through the prism of art. So how can Woodruff have ancestors like those and yet make such lyrical, sumptuous, aggressively beautiful work? The answer lies just beneath those iridescent, mesmerizing surfaces, beyond what one sees in the picture and into what one knows to be true about the world. Sometimes I feel like I'm channeling the universe, working in a kind of trance-like deep meditation. In the studio, I also use my body, but to paint instead of burn. In her paintings, Woodruff contains and choreographs her self-engineered chaos through a proprietary, durational, and seriously physical process involving constant motion and remaining open to, quote, apparitions and visitations, end quote, and what she paraphrases Leonard Cohen in calling the, quote, cracks where the light comes in, end quote. Her micro-macro, fractal-friendly point of view hinges on her belief in the essential interconnectedness of all light and all darkness, all space and all matter, and that includes living beings. A review by A. Moray from Art Limited. Beneath the acrylic veneer of Susan Woodruff's paintings, there is a palpable tension where the expert handling of the medium conceals the weight of the subject. The delicate handling of lush and luminous brushstrokes mimics the intricacies of an abalone shell. The algorithm of the universe seems to be contained within each canvas. The dominant colors of the earth are represented from ebony, the sapphire of oceanic depths, to the golden flames of fallen stars, to mountainous green and brown hues. Yet in most of this current body of work, a stark contrast between dark and light predominates. Despite the shifting atmospheric tones, there remains a constant variable in each work, 
and that is the scientific examination of the surface. Woodruff's attention to detail reveals the depth of her desire to explore and discover the mystery of each square inch of canvas. The paintings are marked by a rich pearl texture that peaks and falls with an orchestral cadence that is both subtle and dynamic. Its nebulous forms evince a cyclonic momentum. Observing them, the eye falls into a trance and we become lost in the rhythm of the paintings. This trance, however, temporarily delays our realization that the beauty of Echo Maker is not just the sweeping surfaces, but also the melancholic atmosphere represented. In black ice, a cascading pearl light attempts to break free from the shadow that surrounds it. The dichotomous dark and light colors fight against each other so that we cannot determine if we are in the wake of a magnificent apocalypse or if we are in the midst of a cataclysmic change. The intensity of the incandescent pearl grows more intense in the middle of the composition, but does the light continue or will it recede into darkness? In Echo Maker, the viewer surrenders to the artist's perspective of the environment. Are we looking at a landscape from above at a great distance, or are we part of the abstraction? Woodruff carefully obscures our sense of time. Are we witness to the memento mori or the aftermath of an earthly destruction? Either way, the echo presented in these works is visceral, devastating, and beautiful. <laughs>